Hey YouTube, this is Zach with Achilles Financial, and today we're going to be talking about Genius Sports Limited. They trade on the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker symbol GENI, and they're going to be announcing earnings this Tuesday at 8 a.m. Eastern Time. And I'm really looking forward to this one. This is a stock that we are currently holding in the portfolio. And if you want to see what I'm holding, what I'm trading, go ahead and join the Discord in the link down below in the description. It's free to join and it's a really cool community. What I'm highlighting here on Genius is this is one that we purchased late last year when they were going through their SPAC merger where they had just announced it. We wrote it up 20, sold around 22. And then we watched it fall back down, picked up some shares around 16 and sold them once again at, I did personally around 20, but I know some other people in the Discord held a little bit longer and were able to catch that big run up into the, I believe it was the $25 range at that point in time. So they went on a massive run back here. Yes. So back in mid-September when they had their run up all the way to $25 a share and we are still holding I've got about 100 shares at this point in time and I am looking to add to another 100 shares uh, this week so the sports betting industry has just been killed I did a video last week on DraftKings covering them and this is just a stock that as you can see has just continued to plummet a lot of that originally was associated with Penn National Gaming they had some news that was not very favorable associated with their founder or part owner and Dave Portnoy and I think that that started showing weakness there and then as some of these other companies primarily DraftKings has announced earnings they are just losing a significant amount of money and the revenue is not necessarily increasing as fast as they were originally projecting so as such we have these stocks that have just been absolutely pummeled going into the end of the year when during really this time of the year right now we're in peak football season viewership has been up this calendar year and a lot of people think that is partially due to the sports betting industry we saw this earlier in um, the online sports betting career i guess i would say when fantasy football continued to take hold and that continues to have millions of people playing that and so we can anticipate that sports betting is part of the reason why we're seeing increased viewership for the NFL primarily. However, while all of that's happening, we're seeing new lows continue to hit on some of these individual prices. So what are we looking at and why do I consider this to be a forward-looking growth stock, although it's not without its risk? So what I'm going to be showcasing is their presentation for Q2 earnings, just to talk a little bit about the stock. So this is their PowerPoint presentation they utilized in the Q2 earnings. It's available on the SEC filings website as well as their own website. And I'm just going to highlight this quite quickly. I'll include a link to this one that I'm using in the description down below. But all in all, some of the business highlights in the second quarter, they did a more than doubling of their total revenue all the way up to about $56 million. And they continue to grow some of their per strategic partnerships primarily and this is the one that i'm going to continue to highlight is DraftKings, as that is a very material portion of their overall booking one of the things that did cause the stock price to drop in q2 was when they did a full offering of 435 million dollars i do think it was a good business decision as a shareholder on more of a shorter term side i was not a huge fan However, the good news is they have quite a bit of bandwidth going forward to be able to make strategic acquisitions such as the one they did with Spearable, as well as plenty of cash on hand to deal with some of their not fun expenses that they've been dealing with. Overall, they reaffirmed guidance and even highlighted that they would be more closely aligned with the upper end of their original estimate. So if you want to go and learn more about the company, I've done a few videos on that. I'll link that here. But all in all, all of this information is readily available, and I'm not necessarily going to use today to talk about what the company does, but more so highlight some of their expectations associated with the stock price. And that's largely going to be driven by the financials. So you can see that they are continuing to grow. Keep in mind that this is a company that as they sell data, as they provide data to sports betting agencies, that that's how they are going to increase their overall revenue. 
So as the sports betting agencies continue to have more users, more data will be used, and that is how Genius Sports is going to capably grow. So what we are going to see is that they are going to spend a lot of money on advertising in the same form and fashion that we see betting or advertising betting being done here in the United States. DraftKings is all over the NFL. So as you can see, they are heading directly for their overall key revenue of about 255 million to 260 million. A lot of that is expected to come in this quarter. So one of the things that I'm looking for is that really the bulk of the year's revenue should be coming in Q3 as football season started up and we're expecting, of course, materially a portion of that to be in Q4 as well. We have not seen any major lockdowns this year that would negatively affect the company and there has been a significant amount of streaming. So this is the group that has a heavy, heavy relationship with the Premier League. And this past week we did see, I believe it was NBNC or NBCN, uh, one of those groups, they redid the contract with the Premier League to more than double what it was last time. And I believe that that's like $4.6 billion. I don't have those numbers exact, but it was continuing to showcase the sheer amount of money and the value that can be provided by owning some of those games. And so I don't have any negative expectations about the capabilities of a company like this to deliver on increasing revenue. The question is, is it going to be as large as a number that's going to get them to that 255 to 260 million to be able to do that by the end of the year? Just judging again, once we're looking at kind of that first half of the year revenue, we are expecting to see another as much as hundred million dollars here in Q3, but at a minimum, we're gonna be expecting to see between 65 to 75 million over each of the next consecutive quarters. The next thing that I'll highlight as we look at the, the concerns I have with the company is that they lost a lot of money. So even on just the cost of the revenue, a lot of that is coming from some of the expenses that you see down below. But the big thing that I have a concern with, and if I will zoom in a little bit to see some of this, is this stock-based compensation right here. So again, the company just went public this calendar year through a merger, a SPAC merger. So you expect to see some of this. But the big thing is the company is losing money hand over fist right now, which a lot of these high growth companies do. However, you are still paying out $414 million worth of stock options. So that is a concern. I would not like to see that continue into Q3 because again, the company does have quite a bit that they need to do to achieve profitability, which in their SPAC presentation they were highlighting from an adjusted perspective could be as soon as next year. So that's what we'll be looking at. I believe overall gap accounting profitability is expected to occur in 2023. But all in all, there's huge growth that we're seeing in terms of revenue. So you can see this is on three months side, but we've got 26 million into 55 million. That is incredible, but that can't be, we can't have that same expectation on the cost of revenue of that 22 million into 240 million, more than a 10 X. So that being said, they're growing revenue. Can they scale into profitability? A lot of what they're doing right now is to get things up and running from a tech perspective. And theoretically going forward, that should continue to provide significantly higher margins than it may have previously. The question is going to be is what the forecast going in or what the forecast will be. And I'd really like to see kind of how they propose that some of the ideas behind not only this year, but going into the next year and following. So I definitely don't want to see any form of additional capital raises. If I were to see that, I would reconsider my position going forward because while they are burning quite a bit of cash, I still don't have necessarily a lot of concerns about them being able to burn through that or what they have right now at this point in time. The last thing I want to highlight, and you could see that on the slide before, but they're continuing to build quite a bit of shares outstanding. And I do have concerns with that because again, any dilution is not beneficial and we're expecting to see quite a bit more shares come online over the course of the next six months. You can see they have right at about 151 million outstanding at this point in time. So we primarily don't wanna see that continue to grow, especially not at this rate. 
all in all, they are continuing to grow. They're forecasting growth. We just need to see, are they able to grow profitably, which seems to be quite an issue in this sports betting sector. All in all, I'm still expecting the stock to perform well going into next year, especially at this point in time, I'm going to encourage that you can, or I will not encourage or provide a recommendation uh, because I'm not a financial advisor, but what I'm going to be doing is looking to add to this position here because this is a stock that I see continuing to do well in the future. So if you have any questions over this video, feel free to drop those questions in the Discord or down below. And if you find this content helpful, please leave a like and subscribe. Thanks. Talk to you later.